Hi guys, Spink here. This is episode 60 of Let's Learn Aegean Civil War II. I'm resuming where we left off. At the end of the last episode, we had a crash. It was just while we were doing the orders phase. So let's give it a shot again and see if it works this time. In fact, I don't know. Did I even... Yeah, I had hit orders. What are we seeing here? We can see Jackson's strength finally, 342. Half cohesion, half strength, no supply. see what's going on. Oh, some people were moving up there. Gunboat squadron. I got all my ships in, don't I? Magruder has arrived in... Oh, so he's come back through this way. And Falmouth. He's got, um... He's got our force. He came in... came in this way, didn't he? Oh, something blew up. Oh, now we went back to Culpepper. Okay. Well, that's good. Now we'll crush him there. In the uh, occasions where I have had a crash like this, um, I usually just restart the game and, and it gets past whatever the problem was. So, not sure what was going on, but it appears to be Holy moly, Price has got recovered. Okay, I don't think we even had any battles. Let's see. So he's still there. Now, I thought he was over here. And we're back into snow. Oh, we got blizzards up here. Deep cold. Oh boy, this is just nuts. We're losing far too much of our cohesion trying to get into the mountains with this guy. So we're going to have to cancel that move and let him recover. What does that say? Eight? No, it's probably three breaches. Did this guy go where I thought he was going? I've lost track of him now. He can probably defend here in Suffolk. I'm thinking we don't need to be all the way back here. We'll put him back up there. And this guy, we're going to actually... Let's go back to Petersburg with him. I've got to, I've got to put a, a, a garrison here in Petersburg. Oh, what do I got? I should probably just not, like... Hmm. So I've got one division there. Two divisions here. Maybe I could put a division in Petersburg in a division here. Or what's he got? He's got... Don't want to really reduce that, though. Okay, so we're doing pretty good up here now. He is... If I make him a core, he will be a core of McClellan's army, but I think we need to do that. And we will grab Sickles. make him a division and give them to Howard as well 
We have more divisions here than we can handle. Maybe I will send this division to Fredericksburg. And we use the train. Yeah, get there in half the time. Okay, so the... Let's see, he's still here. He failed to activate. Oh, I'm sitting here going through here. I forgot to go through all the messages. All right. Oh, it's January right now. Okay, let's go through these messages then. Lincoln signs the Emancipation Proclamation. The option is now active. So we gain some conscripts. Alters foreign entry by five, loses 50 victory points, okay? We may offer a premium for volunteers. We may increase our rail. New military options are available, F3. Mm -hmm. Declare full mobilization. Apparently I can do that. Uh, the Confederacy has issued rolling stock. We may do war bonds and raise taxes. New Brigadier Generals have been appointed and await commands. Brigadier General Steele is awaiting a new command. New Army HQs. Horn Brigade. Epidemics in the Old Northwest. Oh, gosh. We have received new mini many new regional decisions okay we are besieging Charlottesville we made a breach so we have six breaches in Richmond um, mm -hmm. all right we Pleasanton got away from whatever he was trying to get away from hoax force two units Virginia plantations oh wow 50, 50 land conscription capacity, 75 supply. Taking that would be would be a very good thing, but I don't have enough people to hold the damn stuff I've got right now. All right. Reverted to a defensive, reverted to a defensive. Everybody reverts to defensive. Um, trained, pack trains, good. Repaired the rail line in Coffee, Tennessee. We captured eight supply taking Lexington, Virginia. Oh, I guess the other guys just left. And transport. Oh, Union Cavalry received six hits due to lack of supply. That would have been part of this. I wasn't paying attention and I ran them out of supply. Harsh weather. Well, I think there's supply here. Yeah, doggone it. Okay. Um, what were we doing? We were trying to move stuff around, weren't we? I'm going to move this guy. Actually, let's move him. I just kind of freaked out a bit when I moved him back too far like that. I should never have done that. I should just put him down here and that will be going to sneak around the bottom that way. Alright, this guy, oh, supply situation is getting a little bad down here. Hmm. What's our supply situation here? Whoops, that ain't what I wanted. I wanted this one. That's got a depot. How can we? How come our supply is running out when we have a depot right here? I think I'm just going to take this whole core and put it down here. I don't think we. These guys are blockaded in. They can't get out and get to here. He's going to get to. 
to the supply that way. We're going to continue to besiege Richmond. I, I assume I can't actually starve them out because of all the things they have here that, that actually create supply. So at some point I'm going to have to uh, bes you know, have to assault them, but in the meantime I'm just kind of kind of covering them. All right, now this guy he's got to stop his this movement of his. He's just he just burned himself out doing that. What is this guy doing? He is on Nelson, Virginia. This guy's on Nelson, Virginia as well. We'll put both of these on assaults and maybe one of them will be able to get it. Hmm. Weather is so damn bad. My supply situation is not great. I've got to clear these guys out of here so I can get the supply through there or clear it out of here. Yeah. A whole bunch of new leaders. A lot of generic guys. Well, 63 generals. Oh, we have Francis Barlow. He's killed at Gettysburg, I believe. Bernie, quickly angered, Heron, Henry Hunt, John Newton, and James Wadsworth. We'll give these guys to the Army of the Potomac. So if he should happen to get any troops, he can do stuff with them. All right, what should we do with this guy other than hold... Old Manassas. Oh, what else we got here? Oh, this division is coming down here. Falmouth. Hmm. I don't imagine I can build a depot in a place that where they still have the control because the depot is in the structure so I probably can't do that hmm There's a division and a core there, but I don't think they've got much units, much size. All right. Down here, what's the weather? Mud. Oh, and these red ones are frozen. Okay. Some artillery over there. All right, how is our supply situation? Is it getting any better? No supply here. Hmm. Why are you here? All right. outran my supply lines here. Hmm. Frederick Steele, why are you here? Now his supply situation is good right through here. And this will be good, because now I have a... Alright, now you will go here, by rail. There we go. We got it all figured out now. 
Oh, okay. Let's see. Is it mud in here? I wonder if I should try to attack him. We can give it a shot. Well, this guy, his cohesion's a little low. And his supply is a little low. Ugh. We'll wait one turn, get our supply up. All right, now Grant is back in action. Um, where is Grant going to go? I guess the first place to go is, is Humboldt here. I believe we had that at one point. First of all, we'll go here and take that. We do have our supplies here now. And then we'll move up to Humboldt and then secure this whole back area. Wasn't there some guy running around in the back here at some point? Up here? I don't know. That's a good sizable force here. Okay, get Fremont back to his base of operations. He'll be back there. Oh, Price got moved into here. Oh no, that's Polk. All right, so we'll get uh, we we'll get Lion recovered, and then we'll go crush him. Can I spare anybody here? Uh, no, he's not really got much here, does he? Hmm. I mean, literally, he's got... Hmm. I guess there's no real reason to hold on to this guy. Or to uh, do anything other than use him to hold this area down here, because there is a depot here. pretty good there um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. supply is good here supply is gonna go catch up with him that guy could actually use a leader do we have a spare leader we don't I can't even get anybody over here Oh, bugger, there's Indians. Ah. All right. You guys. Go back. Oh, my God. 73 days. Mud. Actually, what if we were to... Leave these guys here and just send the cavalry over there. 48 days. And while we're here, while we're here and thinking about it, let's plunder. What does plunder do? Gains us $35,000. Disloyal small towns. Hmm. Subvert Indians joins our ranks. A neutral or enemy Indian unit already on the map joins our ranks. We must an Indian unit in the same region. I wonder if I, I could do that here. I wonder if that would do anything. We can try it. Let's see what happens. 
We need a friendly combat unit, and we will remove an Indian village for $50,000. And I think that also gets rid of the combat units that they have associated with it. Well, so far I haven't seen any new... new, new uh, regional decision that I haven't seen before. Alright, so we're going to take Fort Lee here. Oh, there's a unit here. We will crush them. Is that an Indian village? Yeah. And then move these guys north to uh, take out those Indians. Alright. Let's see who's left here. He's just going to I think hold here um, while Lion gets his gets himself squared away. These guys, I think, well, let's put them back to these forts. Pope on a rope. Oh boy, how bad would that be to try to do? 19 days. We can give it a shot for California. I gotta have somebody holding this place. He's gonna sit back there. This guy is gonna be that garrison with that unit. And these guys are still on attack. I wonder why they're not attacking. Oh, that's neutral. That's why. They are neutral. That must have been one of the things we did with the Indian village thing. Oh, these Santee ones. I wonder if we can use that to get rid of that other guy. Bring him up here. Whoops, 12. Hmm. Retaliation. Needs an, a target, an Indian unit in the same region as an Indian village. Can't really do that. All right. So we'll move him up to here and take out that other guy. Blunt. Oh, yeah, these made it up here. Um, doesn't making a division really gains me much here. But I think I'll do it anyway. Oh, I can't put the Indian one in, in it. And that's probably a net loss there. Yeah, that, that gives us a 20%. Or we only have a 10% that way. Okay. He is a ranger and an Indian fighter. Well... He's our boy. Let's move him here initially. Oh my god. He's going to waste away. We're going to have to wait for the weather to clear. Or what if I moved him here? 29 days. And then we can recover there. Alright. Pack train. Pack train number 20. 321. So 21 we'll send here. 22 we'll send here. And 23 we'll send here. Rosecrans will just hang out. They'll hang out. The Horn Brigade. Who is this young man? August Willich. Alright. Whoops. He's in Chicago. Let's bring him down to here. A rail. Another pack train. Two pack. Oh, we get two pack trains and some artillery. These pack trains are going to go to Nashville. Whoops. Nashville. There we go. Conscripts. 
Okay, this is starting to clear up a bit. Mud. Let's send these to Clarksburg, I guess, and then we're going to down this way, down this way, down this way. All right. Okay, we're still waiting for our supply. He's waiting for his cohesion. And he's just hanging out. As is this guy. Butler. Um, we're going to move him down to Petersburg. He'll just stay here. And he'll stay there. That's what that was going to be. Sumner is just going to continue to besiege Richmond. Dix. I should send him, once the weather clears, I guess, we'll send these guys down to Lynchburg. McDowell. He's, why does McDowell have all of this supply? Because I guess I gave it to him. So I have two cores sitting here. I shouldn't have two cores sitting here. Oh, one's over there. <laughs> okay. And then McDowell needs to move up into here. If this guy would duck back in there, that would be nice. Uh, hmm. Franklin has got to recover. His cohesion is non-existent. Hmm. Put him there. Howard's core. Now it said we can make another um, we can make another uh, army. So that's something to think about too, whether where we would do that and who would even be able to do it. I don't even know if we got enough three stars to even make another army. How I can Crittenton. All right, I think we've been through everybody here. All right, that's the one that's in Nashville. Can this one get to here yet? No, it's still frozen. Put him over there. These guys are recovered. Bring them out to here. Okay, we had another fleet of ironclads. There we go. Now, what should we do with our ironclads? Hmm, that's probably not terribly doable. Georgetown, South Carolina. Or I don't think trying for New Orleans would be especially uh, wise, but we could go for Galveston. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up a, f a force here. Now there's some transports here, right? Yeah. I don't know if I want to send my, my, uh, I don't really want to send those all the way down there, I don't think. Hmm. 
Got to figure that one out first before I just go off half cocked, as they say. Bring these guys back out into here. Okay, well, it looks like that's 30 minutes. I'll call this an episode, and next episode we'll do the production and run the first turn of uh, 1863. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.